Hello everybody, this is Rick with Stumped, and today we're going to be playing Invisible Ink, the new game from Clay Entertainment that was released on August 19th. It's still in early access, so they uh, will be releasing updates, which I'm looking forward to because as it stands right now, this game is incredibly hard. I've pumped about six hours into this game and I still feel pretty uncomfortable with my skills. Uh, anyhow, you see that we get to start out with two agents. Right now I only have Deckard and International unlocked. Uh, this game is procedurally generated and it is a permadeath game. So once you die, that's it. You have to start a new game, which is what I'm doing right now. Uh, so this is a sort of corporate espionage game. You play spies that are charged with infiltrating corporations, stealing corporate secrets, etc. You only have 72 hours to prepare for your final mission and you'll get a little bit more of that as we go along. Here we go, starting with day one. Back, operator. Incognito is picking up some strange patterns in the global market. We don't know what it all means yet, but it's accelerating. We should prepare for a major action in the coming days. Okay. This won't be easy. Our resources are stretched thin. I've lined up some lucrative contracts and targets of opportunity that we can exploit to better our position. I'll let you choose the missions as you see fit, but be careful. We can't afford another setback right now. Okay, be careful. So you can see that we've got five locations here uh, that we get to choose from. Again, they're procedurally generated. And you see that when I click on it, there's a time assigned to each. So this is how many hours it's gonna subtract from our 72 hour deadline. Uh, I'm gonna pick, well, Dubai's very guarded and a, a little standoffish about that. Uh, Colombo's also very guarded. Perth is just guarded, as is Lima. Hmm. You know what? Let's go Lima, and then maybe we can hop over here to Porta Algier. And let's infiltrate. Operator, we've gained one time access to the facility here. There's an unusually powerful server in the building. Okay. Don't miss it. Don't miss the server. What you Got can, it. But don't take any unnecessary risks. Good luck. And the unnecessary risks, I think, are my downfall in this game, but you're going to see how hard it could really get. All right, synchronizing this alarm system. All right, so you see in the top corner here, this is the alarm system. Each turn, it's gonna tick one of these boxes in the alarm system until finally it reaches alarm level one, which is gonna up the ante, alarm level two, all the way up to alarm level six. You don't want it to get there. It gets extremely hard by that point. But as you can see, this is a, sort of a type, uh, top-down isometric uh, uh, game, sort of like, uh, uh, XCOM, and you can go ahead and rotate the rooms, which is pretty uh, pretty handy. Okay, so let's get started. We've got AP. Uh, each step you take, basically, you lose an AP, so he's got about 10 movements in him. Deckard does. Let's go ahead and move Deckard here, and we can go ahead and hit the hotkey P in order to take a peek into the next room. If there was somebody in the room, the room would turn red. Uh, there's nobody in the room, so I'm going to go ahead and open the door and enter in. Yep. Got another door down there. Fantastic. And I'm going to set International down here to scope out the other room. Let's see. Again, wide open. I'll open this door. So this is the elevator. It's good to know that this is here because that's our exit strategy. Once we feel like we've gathered enough intelligence, we're going to exit through that elevator, assuming that we're still alive by that point. Okay. Hit enter to end the turn. Give the enemy a chance to do their thing. Up here, power drip, okay, that's a, a passive. Up here in the uh, top left corner, that's our power there. That power drip is gonna add one power to uh, each turn, and you'll see what that power is used for once uh, the opportunity arises. Let's take a peek in this room. Here we've got a guard, and he's probably making his way towards me. I can go ahead and hit this observe, and it's gonna predict this guard's movement. He's patrolling, but it doesn't tell me which direction he's patrolling. I'm just gonna assume he's heading for this door and he's gonna try to open it. In that case, I'm gonna go ahead and park Decker here and I'm gonna hit this melee reaction. That means if this guard happens to walk through the door, Decker's gonna automatically melee him. All right, now let's go ahead and switch over to International. Let's move her into this room. Uh, if I was afraid that there would be guards coming into this room, I'd go ahead and shut that door behind me as to not raise suspicion, but I'm not concerned with that. I'm gonna leave that door open, why not? 
Okay. I don't want to move Deckard, even though he's got five turns left, because there's really no good place for him to go. I just want to park him there and see if that guard's going to start some funny business with us. Okay, luckily he didn't. I don't have to worry about that. Pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a peek in that room one more time just to make sure the guards are gone. I'm going to open this door. And you can see that the room is still red, which means that it's under observation. Oh, and you can see why right there. There's a stupid friggin' guard. Um, in that case, I'm going to go ahead and shut this door. Oh, shoot. Okay. Red doors mean they're locked. Nothing I could do unless I get a pass card. So this is actually our only point of entrance, unfortunately. And this... So solid red means that they're going to see you no matter what. The little red lines, that means that you're in their periphery, which means that they're going to notice that there's something funky going on, but you're not going to really necessarily set off any alarms if you walk through it. So I'm going to go ahead and try to skirt his line of vision. Get around this corner here. Hey, what was that? See, he saw me, but he's not sure what he saw. So I'm going to go ahead and set my melee reaction. Wait that one out. And I'm going to send International over here. I'm going to let her close that door. And I'm going to do the same thing with her. I'm going to set her to that melee reaction. Play it by ear. See what happens next. So he's heading down towards Deckard. Ah, oh, shit. This guy's heading down there, too. Okay. This is going to be tricky. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip my turn. There's that alarm level one. At one, additional cameras are activated. Got him. Okay. Now, here's what's going to happen. Ah, Deckard's down. Shit. Uh, that's bad news. Okay, I'm going to open this door. I'm going to sneak him behind this dum-dum. Give him uh, shocking. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and steal from... I don't want to steal from Deckard. Yes, continue. Uh, I want to steal from this guard. Oh, good. He's got a med gel on him. That's fantastic. Okay. We'll steal the pass card as well. The med gel I can actually use on Deckard to revive him. So that's good news. Okay. Deckard is back in business. That was just a really fortunate turn of events. Uh, it's not often that that works out. Uh, so... This is this is a good playthrough, I think. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, a good thing to note is if I were just to stay parked on top of these guards, they would stay incapacitated indefinitely. As it stands now, if I were to get off of the guards, this too indicates that they've got two turns before they wake back up. Okay, so, um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and keep International parked on one of these guards just to make things a bit easier. And I'm going to run Deckard up here. Okay, and I'll go ahead and go to my next turn. Okay, we see something going on over here. So, there's a, oh, it's that camera, that's what it is. Okay, good, this will uh, give you, this is the incognito view. So this is sort of the, uh, the network view. It's gonna show you that I can use power indicated in the top here to turn off one of these, uh, either the door, the camera, or both. I have enough power. Uh, I haven't figured out the equation quite yet because this one, you would think that it would take one power to deactivate, but one actually takes two power to deactivate. Let me show you. I click on that. I had 16 power. I now have 14 power. Okay, I deactivated the door. So uh, 12 power. I'm not sure exactly why. I'm sure that there's a really simple explanation for it. Uh, oh, because I used the lockpick. That explains it. Uh, it costs two power to break the firewall. Okay. Answer my own question. Bear with me, guys. Early access game. Doesn't come with instructions. Oh, shit. That guy is up now. Uh, and I still have one more turn before my uh, stun gun is cooled down. So I'm going to go ahead and move before he turns around. Move up this way. Open the door. And come through it this way. Close the door behind me. And move Deckard up here. Take a peek through this door. Okay, there's a camera. But it doesn't look like there's much else in this room. 
yeah, there's not much else in this room. These red doors, uh, you're going to see, I think once we reach alarm level five, there's an enforcer character who's released that's a little bit tougher, and they come out through these doors. So there's really nothing of interest in this room. I'm going to move up this way, take a peek through this door here. Oh, okay, it doesn't look like there's anything in this room either, really. Yeah, that room's pretty empty. I'm going to avoid wasting turns into that room as well. Uh... Skip my turn here. Okay. Let's keep going. Um, it's getting a bit hairier now. Okay, that guy's still down. You can see that International now, her cooldown for that stun gun is done. I can go ahead and stun this dude. Oh shit, I can't, because I just used my last AP, and it takes... That guy's going to turn around, and he's going to hit International. That's uh, that's bad news. Okay. Let's see if I can't save her in time. Incredibly, he didn't notice me. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take that as a good sign. Keep moving. Check this door. All right got good stuff in here let's go ahead and move international that way as well shut the door behind us okay these right here these are corporate safes sometimes they have money sometimes they have other goodies if you switch into incognito view let's hack the safes to get access to them let's move international in front of one huh okay and let's open that puppy up i've got 150 dollars and in the second safe 150 more dollars okay i was hoping to start for some uh corporate information or something in those safes but we'll take what we can get okay firewalls increased which means that now if i were to hack into any systems it's going to be a little bit tougher to do so still though uh that's not too worrisome let's keep checking these doors here all right Ooh, this is that server I think that uh, we were told about before the mission started. So let's see here. Uh, you know, I think I'm gonna have to go in this room just to play it safe because I have a feeling this guard here, yeah, he's gonna try to stroll through this door here. Uh, we don't want to be discovered, do we? So let's go into incognito. Let's shut this camera off, make that room a little bit easier to get into. All right. All right, got a few goodies in here as well. Uh, let's go into here. Let's shut this door behind us. So this right here, this console, we can hijack it and it'll give us power. Uh, I like to let International hijack these terminals because she has a higher hacking ability than Deckard does. So let's go ahead and hack this one. We got two power, which is good. This right here, this is a nano fabricator. We can buy goodies there. Those goodies are also procedurally generated, so if we were to hack into that, let's go ahead and do it. Let's see. Okay, so right now we can get a high-velocity dart gun. That's pretty good. It's also armor-piercing. You'll see down there that second option or that second uh, uh, attribute there. That's good because harder enemies, uh, their armor is impervious to our neural disruptor. So it's a good thing to have, but it's also pretty pricey kills ignore guard hot monitors and do not raise tracker now that's a really good thing to have once we get a weapon that's capable of killing guards uh once their heart rate goes offline uh it triggers other guards it's bad news so we'd probably want to buy that if and when we get a gun um you know i don't think there's a real reason to buy the high velocity dart right now maybe if we get to a sick situation i can come back and buy it if i need to right now i'm not going to buy anything Okay, so far so good. Nothing too crazy has happened. Take a peek in this room. We've got another door and another camera. Let's take that camera offline. Oh, costs two now, that's right. Because of that firewall upgrade. Let's have Decker peek through this door. Jesus Christ. This level just seems to go on forever. All right, and... I don't have enough to shut that camera off because that's going to cost me four power, so I'm just going to let that be for this turn. 
All right, my power drip has now given me enough power to shut that camera off. Camera's off. We're going to open the door and make a beeline to the end of the hall where we will take use our last AP to take that last peek. Oh, good God, another door. I just really keep hoping that the level will end. No such luck so far. Okay. I shouldn't complain, though. So many times I've played uh, games where... By this point, I've got about six guards chasing me, uh, either Deckard or International. Oops, I forgot to shut the camera off. That was stupid. But usually by this point, either Deckard or International is dead. I'm scrambling to try to get some of that uh, health gel to revive them. All right. Alarm level three has just been raised, which means that they've just uh, called another guard into duty. I still can't hack that fucking camera, so I've got to wait it out. Uh... Oh, okay, here's uh, something that I haven't told y'all yet. International, one of her passive abilities means that uh, she can uh, like wirelessly hack into these consoles. She doesn't need to be standing right next to them. I kind of forgot about that. I can go ahead and hijack these. There we go. I just got a six power right away, which means that I can now hack this camera. Walk into this room. Walk up to this door. I'm going to go ahead and post her there with her melee reaction, just in case somebody walks through that door. And take a peek. Okay. There's the camera database. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shut that down. Because that camera saw us. Because I got sloppy. There we go. And that's going to also show us all the locations of the cameras. That's some good stuff there. Okay. Aside from that, it looks like this room's pretty clear, so let's go ahead and send Decker in here. Oh, wait, I can't because International's blocking the door. We'll wait for next turn to do that. Okay. There you go, International. Decker. Oh, oh there's a safe in there. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and hack that and then send... There's two safes in there. Right on. Let's hope that there's some... Uh, corporate blueprints or something good in here and there is there's corporate intelligence all right this is great uh this is going to give us uh, i think notoriety some good thing once we're complete uh once we complete the level and next turn we will pick up what's in this safe or the turn after next because i think it's going to cost okay let's keep international posted there to get what's in the safe once the time comes. I'm gonna go ahead and step through this room. Hide behind that desk, how about that? Just in case anybody comes to that door. I don't think they will. Nothing's uh, seemed to indicate that they would, but you know, just in case. The alarm levels are really starting to increase now, so um, I think at this point, I probably could explore a bit more, but I'm gonna try to make a beeline for that elevator. Stop taking so many chances. Okay, we finally got four power, which means that we can finally hack into this safe. Let's have international. Whoops. Switch to her first. Go ahead and steal what's inside there. All right, just some more money. But money's good. I'm not uh, poo-pooing money. Don't worry. I'm a good capitalist, just like anybody else. All right. So these exclamation points, you might be wondering, what's that all about? Interest points. So security knows that something's happened in this room. They should probably check this room out. So there's a good chance that guards will be wandering through here, which means that I want to take a peek and make sure that it's safe to get in there before I actually do. All right. I want to go in that room, but I don't want to walk in that room and then be discovered. Here's the cool thing. If, uh, say, I were to open this door and stroll into this room, next turn comes around, the guards get their chance, somebody walks in this room and sees me, I'll get one turn, one AP to react, which means that I could say, oh shit, duck into this room, and they won't have a chance to shoot me. So to play it safe, to give me that out, I'm going to stand right in that door frame in case a guard comes through here, it'll give me that out to move into this next room. I hope that makes sense. Okay, uh, with that being said, I think we're good to go ahead and end our turn. 
And that's exactly what happened. You see that guard came in. Luckily, I'm not in his uh, sight line there. So I'm going to move behind this console. What was that? And I'm going to set him to melee reaction. I have a feeling this guard is going to come up here to inspect. I'm going to shock him. I'm going to put him down. And we can get along with it. All right. But that's all I can really do during this turn. We've released alarm level four now. Things are getting really tough. I think that that enforcer has been released at this point. Let's see if he's got anything good on him. Oh, I don't want to buy. There we go. Okay. Normally, you would have the option to steal from a guard, but this must be one of the guards that International and Decker knocked out early on, and we already stole from him. So I could drag the body and hide it somewhere if I was concerned that a guard would be strolling through here. At this point, I'm only going to be making forward momentum, so even if a guard does come here and discover the body, I will hopefully be long gone by that point. So I'm not going to bother dragging the body. If you are dragging the body, it reduces your AP as well, so you won't have as many options to move. Uh... International, where are you gonna move? And there was a wall right here too, which I didn't notice before. So I'm gonna hide International there, keep her posted. Let's move Deckard to this doorway. Take a peek in this room. Okay, it looks pretty clear, but let's shut the door just to play it safe. And we'll melee reaction Deckard. Oh wait, I can't, he's got two cooldowns. So Deckard's just gonna play cool right there and hope nobody strolls in the room. Somebody's on their way to stroll in the room, though, which means that I'm going to go ahead and move International up here as well. I'm going to park her right in front of that door. So this guy, he's going to come in. He's going to open this door next turn. Surprise, surprise, International is going to be right there, ready to stun his stupid ass. And that's exactly what happened. Let's find out if this is the other guy that we stunned once before. <laughs> and it is. These guys are having a really shitty day at work. Getting stunned left and right. I'm sorry, guys. It's nothing personal. It's just business. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, I forgot I left that door open. That's that's some sloppy spy work right there. Uh, that guy saw us. Not that big a deal. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and shut that door behind us, huh? Let's do that. Let that guy sleep for a couple turns. Uh, I'm so tempted to go in this room and get all this good shit. That's that primary terminal server that we were told about at the beginning of the game. I really want to get that. Okay, guys, we're going to take a risk. Uh, this guy, he knows that I'm out here, so I'm going to set to stun this guy, okay? And I'm going to have International shut this door. Okay, play it cool. I'm going to have International also wirelessly hack into this and steal the power. And end the turn. This guard's gonna be strolling through here. That should be what happens. And Deckard's gonna stun him. That's exactly what happened, okay. <sighs> Luckily that guard went over there. I would have expected him to come check out his uh, incapacitated buddy, but he's not good at his job. All right, let's go ahead and take that money. I'm not gonna take the pass card because I really don't need it. There's no red doors that I really need to unlock at this point, but I'm going to run straight to the server. Let's let International hack that server first, huh? There we go. Let's run there, check it out. Hit it up, Deckard. There's nothing in there. Well, there's items. Demon Sniffer. Well, that was kind of a bust, actually, guys. Uh, I'm a little disappointed. But like I said, this is all procedurally generated, so... I guess sometimes uh, you luck out and sometimes you get the shit end of things. That fellow right there, looking all weird, that's an enforcer. That's the uh, tough dude I was telling you about. And you can see, even though he's out of our field of vision, that there's one of these uh, vision cones looking this way, which indicates that there's probably a guy right here as well. Uh, all right. If we make it out of this, we're going to make it out by the hair of our chinny chin chin. Uh, let's take our chances here. Enforcer goes that way. That's good. Oh, great, great, great. That room just cleared out. There's more enforcers, though, now. We really need to get a move on. 
Okay. I'm just starting to make a beeline. I'm going to... International is on the right track. We need to get Deckard the hell out of here. Um, here's a cool thing about Deckard. He's got this modded cloak rigging, uh, which is going to go ahead and turn him invisible for a turn. I'm going to use that uh, at the end of my turn. Run through here. I think I need AP to use it, though. I think. If that is the case... No, I don't. I don't. Good. Let's go ahead and use my cloak. End my turn. Holy shit. That's the game. Oh, it's getting real intense in here. Oh, what happened? Um... Fucking Deckard might not make it out make it out of this. But International is on the right track. She's looking like she can escape. Yeah, she can. She's gonna make it no matter what. Deckard, on the other hand, fuck. Uh Alright, this guy. Let's see if we can predict where he's gonna move. He's hunting. It doesn't tell me where he's going to move, though. All I can really do... I'm going to move here. There are so many guards everywhere. I'm going to shut this door. Fuck. Hit melee reaction to keep my fingers crossed. Okay. One guard down. This game. Holy shit. Oh shit, Deckard's been caught. Okay. There's really nothing I can do at this point. Uh, I'm completely surrounded. They're gonna shoot me. Um, if I was really feeling brave, I can send International back in there and try to heal him with the med gel, which you know what? Let's. F I've got nothing to lose at this point. If I lose Deckard, I might as well just re-roll the entire thing because uh, playing with just international from here on out, it's going to be really fucking boring. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a risk. How about it, guys? Let's go ahead and steal. No, I can't steal from that guard he's been stolen from. I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Okay. They're going to come in. They're going to shoot Deckard. That was a given. Okay. Now this guy... I'm going to go ahead and sneak up behind him, incapacitate him. There we go. You stupid. End my turn. Okay, international. Keep it moving, lady. Let's go ahead and... I've got two turns for this to cool down, uh, which is pretty scary because this guy's gonna wake up in one turn. I've reached the max alarm level here at six. Okay, and he's seen me, so um, I'm, I'm pretty boned here. Um, like I said, I've got one move to get out of harm's reach, but I need two to do it. Watch what happens when I try to do it. He shoots me, I'm down. We lost contact with the team. Bloody hell. That's it. Game over. Team eliminated. I've reached uh, 20,000. Okay, so I just leveled. That was a first. We'll see if uh, I can use that level. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that is good news. Uh even if you die over and over and over again, you keep losing your team over and over and over again, you'll keep accumulating XP, which will go ahead and unlock new attributes. Uh, I think we just unlocked this fusion, gain three power each turn while on cooldown. That's really cool because that's basically an upgraded power drip, which just generates one power per turn. Three power each turn while on cooldown. That's fantastic. Okay. Um, so I guess a little bit of good news, even though this game is hard as hell, it will eventually uh, make it a little bit easier, regardless of whether you die. But as you can see, I probably didn't play this game 
the best. Uh, I'm sure that there are some people out there who can play this a lot better than I can, but you can see that if you want to try to get all the goodies, all you know, see everything that a level has to see, it gets pretty impossible with that uh, active alarm timer. Uh, again, though, it is procedurally generated, so sometimes you'll luck out and you'll get a small level where you can just be in and out of there before you even get to alarm level three. Uh, other times you'll get to this point where uh, there's just... Uh, it's, a, it's a bad roll. Anyhow, I hope you guys liked what you saw. Uh, this has been Rick. I've been playing uh, Invisible Ink. And, uh, you know, go ahead and give us a like on Facebook. Go ahead and follow us on Twitter. Go ahead and subscribe to us on YouTube. And uh, come back next time when Stumped plays another awesome video game. See y'all later.